हेलो गाइस दिस इज तरुण फ्रॉम टेस्टिंग ज्ञान इफ यू आर इन सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ द टर्म एपीआई और एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्रामिंग इंटरफेस इन आर टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन मोर इन डिटेल व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज एन एपीआई व्हाट इज इट्स यूसेज व्हाट आर द वेरियस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एन एपीआई एंड इट्स टाइप्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट इन सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री वी विल कम अक्रॉस दिस टर्म नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स द टर्म इज एपीआई और एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्रामिंग इंटरफेस so what is an api what is the exact meaning of an api api is simply a program or a intermediate or an interface which governs the communications between different applications so now in today's world software industry has evolved a lot it's not like we are working on one application then we can't communicate with the another application the simplest example of this will be the movie ticket booking application such as book my show in that application if you see when you start doing a transaction at that point book my show application sends a request to the banking servers to approve the payment and then banking servers give some response and based on that your ticket is booked if your payment is success your ticket will be booked if payment is not success then your ticket will not be booked so how exactly this is happening so this is where apis come in picture basically there is a programming code or an api written which is governing all this communication between book my show and the banking servers or banking applications okay now apis are further classified based on their availability right and based on their usage so based on their availability there are three types public partner and private public apis are those apis which are publicly accessible to anyone right like google apis for example google email apis are publicly accessible using those api calls you can send an email you can read a content of an email right these apis are public apis then there comes the partner apis which are available to few of people like uh, in an organization and then some people outside the organization like their partners who will be having the access to those apis so these apis are called partner apis then there comes the private apis so private apis are totally internal to the organization only the people who are having the access to those apis are the people who are working in that organization okay so these are private apis then comes the apis based on the usage for example database apis these are the apis which helps the communication between the application and the database management system or dbms then the os apis which helps the communication between the application and the operating system resources then there comes the api remote apis these apis basically helps the communication between different applications running on different machines right remote machines basically then the fourth classification is web apis so these apis helps the communication between web based system so in this session we will be covering the web apis we will try to understand more about web apis now there are few specifications of protocols which governs the communication between the web based application that is basically the goal of api specification is to standardize the data exchange between the different web services okay And then this web specification revolves around the principle of remote procedure call which is simply a principle based on client and server where client is an application which will send the request and server is an application which will receive the request which will validate that request and based on the validation of that request that server will send out the response back to the client so this is what remote procedure call is it's a client server architecture basically okay and web apis may adhere to resource exchange based on the remote procedure call okay now as we have understood how data exchange is happening between web applications between web apis basically it's by a remote procedure call client server communication right now let us understand about very popular web services which are soap and rest soap stands for simple object access protocol and rest stands for representational state transfer soap is a protocol basically it follows strict standards to allow communication between client and server whereas rest is a architectural style that does not follow any strict standards okay but it has few constraints 
which governs the communication for the rest web services and those constraints are uniform interface client server stateless cacheable code on demand and then layered system so these are few constraints which web services rest web services follow in order to have the successful communication between the rest web services okay now soap uses only xml for exchanging the information in between the different web services okay whereas in rest it is not restricted till xml only in case of rest apis we are having xml json plain text right so we can say rest apis are more flexible in comparison to the soap apis and there's also one more advantage to rest apis rest apis can use soap protocol but soap cannot use rest so this was all about the basic idea of the apis and their types and then their specifications and rules around it okay i hope you guys are able to understand in case you have any question please let us know we will try our best to answer those queries thank you